Hello folks, welcome to DevOps Code channel. What we are going to learn today is how to set up Artifactory on Ubuntu. What is Artifactory? Artifactory is one of the popular uh, binary repository managers, uh, very similar to Nexus. We learned about how to set up Nexus in our uh, previous videos. So if you are interested, you can also watch those in my channel as well. Okay, so let's get started. So Artifactory is, uh, you know, it's an open source based on uh, Java as well. Okay, which is highly used for uh, storing artifacts. In fact, you can also use Artifactory for uh, storing your uh, Docker images as well. Okay, I'm going to show that in different video. Okay, so if you look at the pre request, you need to have at least 2 GB RAM size. Uh, if you are setting it up on AWS, it should be at least small or medium instance type. Okay. And then you also need to open port 8081 and then 8082 as well. So 8081 is mainly for making REST API calls to Artifactory and then 8082 is for, you know, UI and other product APIs. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you how to set up on AWS. So right now the instance is being launched. Let me make sure I do have my uh, terminal open. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay, so as you can see here, right, um, I am installing, you know, default JDK, which is JDK 11 for Uber 04, and then I'm going to download, uh, you know, from this website, uh, download the keys, and then, you know, I'm going to add into the uh, repository. Finally, I'm going to update the package, and then we are going to install Artifactory, and then, you know, we are going to set it up to run as a service and whatnot, uh, and then we are going to access it on 8081, okay? So let's get uh, started here, guys. Okay. Let me first uh, connect to this instance. Okay. So we are connected. So let's start with, uh, you know, updating the package as this is a brand new instance, right? Okay, and then I'm going to start with the uh, default JDK installation. Like I said, it is going to install Java 11. Okay, so Java got installed. You can quickly verify that. Yes, so we have JDK 11. Awesome. And uh, let's download the Artifactory repository keys. Okay, we got that and then we are going to add it into the repository. Okay, so let's update our packages. Fantastic. And then, you know, you can install Artifactory open source uh, edition like this. Wow, you see here? So Artifactory got successfully installed. So let's clear the screen. Uh, you know, and then you can just uh, make sure you are, you know, starting the uh, service. And then, you know. Okay. Then let's go ahead and enable the service. And then you can quickly check whether the service is running. Awesome. So we have this message, the service is running. Press Q to come out of it. And then, you know, if you want to quickly check, you can access using curl on A081. Okay, awesome. So we got this message. Okay, so looks like we are all set to go. So we can access Artifactory in the browser. So I'm going to copy the public DNS name, go to browser and then put in A081. Okay, so the default username for Artifactory is admin and the default password is password. Okay, let's go ahead and say login. You don't have to save it. Click on get started. So you need to reset your admin password. So however you are comfortable based on the password policy, you know, whatever you wanted to choose, you can set up the password the way you wanted. Okay, let's go ahead and click on next. 
and then you know this is for setting the base url so i'm going to leave it uh, as it is i'm going to click on uh, skip and then you know we don't want to set up a default proxy for this video so i'm going to skip it and then these are the repositories you know you wanted to uh, create right so yeah obviously you know you want to have a generic repository you want to uh, you know store this type of uh, uh, you know uh, support uh, you know you want to support these are uh, the different build tools right so we're going to pick up all of these uh, and then click on next okay as you can see here these are the uh, repositor repositories you know created already right so if you are a java guy you know you can actually make use of uh, you know the java rep maven repositories okay awesome let's go ahead and finish it that's it guys so that's how you know you set up artifactory thank you for watching this video guys you all have a great day